Hello YouTube, this is Godzilla 98 Rules and today I have another toy review. This one's going to be over one of my newest figures. It is the Bandai Japan Mecha King Ghidorah from a movie monster series. Okay, let's get started. Detail. Oh, wait, let me turn the camera. Okay, as you can see, the detail on this figure is absolutely gorgeous. We have all the bumps, scales right here on his necks, all the cybernetic parts on his torso, scales right here are really good, scales on his tail I like a lot, all the uh, mechanical pieces right in here, fins, even the heads, it's all really good, nicely sculpted and I just love it a lot. And okay, and as for paint job? Paint job on this figure is okay, but this version uh, has the skin being a much brighter gold of a color. In the movie, I think he had a little bit more of a darker gold, but it looks good. And there's red in his eyes, which I think is pretty cool. And on the middle spots, there are bits of darker colors in here for shading on his wings, too. Right here on his wings. In the back and uh, okay no there's no shading on his head and the gold color on the wings is okay even though just like I said they're a darker brown but it works okay as for articulation this figure has five points of articulation tail here can go 360 degrees So okay, legs here can go 360 degrees. The wings can go 360 degrees and they can be folded back to here so you can put them up on your shelf, which I think is really genius. I really like that a lot. Like I said, they can go 360 degrees. The heads have glue seals on them and I think if you break them you can rotate them but I ain't gonna try it. Okay, now for scaling, let's try the 2001 Godzilla. Back now, this actually works pretty good, even though Godzilla is a little bit too big, in my opinion. I think I think my Treadmaster's Battle Godzilla is a bit more in scale with King Ghidorah and Mega King Ghidorah and all. Because Godzilla comes up to about here on his necks. But, yeah, it's okay. I think it works. If you want these two to fire, it will work. Okay. Let's try Jet Jaguar. And I think this would work too, even though that because of Jet Jaguar's head, he's a little bit taller. But I think this would be okay. Once these two to fire, it really works. Let's try and make a Godzilla. Yeah, this also works too, so if you want a mecha fight, this would be good. Mecha Godzilla versus Mecha King Ghidorah. Okay. Okay, now let's take a look at his tag. He was uh, from the Pink Tag series, uh, 2005. And there's his tag. Hold up. Okay. And there's his tag. As you can see from the movie Monster Series 2005. And inside he's got all of his stats right here. Height, weight, information. And sadly though, it's the same picture on both the inside and outside. But that's okay. At least I got his tag. Okay, you probably notice the necks. On the necks here, I did a modification. Oh, I did a modification on his necks. Hold up. There. I did a modification on his necks. When you uh, first pick up this figure or first see a figure on the internet, the heads are scrunched in and bent down, and it looks unnatural to me, and I really didn't like it. But I do thank Ultraman Chronos and Deadzilla for 
showing off their modifications. What I did is put pencils in the neck like Ultraman Kronos did. There's pencils in all three of his necks. So they put, stand out straight like this. And I used Edzilla's uh, Q-tip right here to spread them out. And as you can see, my other Q-tip fell off. I had to fix that. But the heads look a lot better and they stand out more. And I really do thank them a lot for that uh, update or mod. Thank you. Okay, overall, the articulation is good. Detail is absolutely great. Paint job's okay. Could have been better, but it's good. Scaling is really good. Overall, I really do like this figure, and it's a very nice figure. I'm going to give him a 5 out of 5. Thank you, and this is Godzilla 98 Rules signing out.